Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today, something a little bit different. I've been sent some products. I don't normally agree to do videos on products that people want to send me. Uh, you know, I get companies reaching out all the time, but most of the time what they've got is either something that I've already done a video on and it's just another brand but of the same thing and there's nothing new to talk about or the products are just plain boring and there's no real education piece or point of interest with regard to what differentiates them. So I normally say no. The reason why I said yes this time is because they had something I hadn't seen before and I thought would be really interesting. And if I find it interesting, I'm hoping you will too. So they sent me this big box, which I've already unpacked because you know they used about three rolls of tape. <laughs> it took me a while to get into it. And they chucked a few of their products in as well. Um, you know, just quickly, they, they gave me this big bag of biomedia and this big bag of different kind of biomedia. Um, I'm not gonna do talk about them in much detail. Uh, one is the Nitro Ring 2 by Lotus Root, or M Mountain Trees, the company. It's the Lotus Root Nitro Ring 2 Marine Water Biomedia. And then the other one came in this box, which has got Yiban and a whole bunch of Chinese on it. And it's their anaerobic rings. Uh, if you want to know more about them, go to the website. I'll have it linked below and you can read about them. Um, one's sort of like a, a fused rice bubbles type look. It looks almost like popcorn. And then the other ones are fairly standard ceramic media, just in a slightly different shape with holes drilled through it. Neither of them are that interesting. What I want to talk about is this product. And this is the reason why I said yes to them sending me some stuff uh, to do a video on. And this is the Mountain Tree Lotus Root Bacteria House 3. Apparently there was a one and a two, and this is the third generation, which is more gooder. So, I don't know what the differences between the generations are, but you know, new generations, new iterations, presumably there's been improvements in the process. And what's interesting about this ceramic biomedia is take a look at that shape. Look at all the holes and, you know, this spiral structure that's been drilled out of it combined with these full length holes. There's seven of them going the whole way through and it creates this really cool pore structure which is gonna give unbelievable water flow through this biomedia. Now, if you think of all the standard biomedias on the market, what we've got is Marine Pure Cubes and the similar things to Marine Pure Cubes. Um, we've got the spheres that made by Maxspect or Mantis or a bunch of other companies and the plates, again, made by Maxspect, Mantis and a bunch of other companies. And what they all have in common is despite being a porous media that allows water to flow through it, they are solid blocks or spheres. And they're prone to build up a surface film on them and essentially block the water flow through the product and potentially even block water flow through your sump or weir or wherever else you're storing these products, particularly if you keep them in a mesh bag. Something like this, in my opinion, is far less likely to get blocked or is going to take a lot lot longer to get blocked with detritus or a biofilm and it certainly won't be blocking water flow through your sump because of the size of the flow holes and the various paths and directions that water can take to get through a product like this. What I also like about this design is being a tall but still skinny tube is it's perfect for putting in all-in-one systems. So think like a Red Sea Max, the smaller ones, or a, a Kate or a Waterbox nano size system where all your filtration has to sit in a compartment in the back of the tank. You can just drop one of these down the filtration column and job done. Your bacteria house, your ceramic media biofiltration will be done with really no chance of getting blocked or building up excessive detritus. So yeah, the, the, someone's put a lot of thought into the physical design of this product and that's why I'm interested in it, that's why I like it. Um, it feels like a modern ceramic, it feels like the same kind of ceramics um, that are used for the Maxpec blocks. It's not like the porous, sandy kind of ceramic that was used in the older Marine Pure products. Um, so I don't think this is going to crumble. I mean, I've been handling this quite a lot. My hands are not even dusty. 
Um, so, and it's it's not, yeah, it, it's quite solid. It's not crumbling or anything like that, which is a good sign. But obviously I can't say for sure because I've not used it. It just came out of the box. This would need to be tested for, for a significant period of time to know for sure that it won't crumble and break. But, uh, you know, I have pretty high hopes based on what I've seen from other materials that are quite similar. Um, but yeah, these are a really unique size and shape and I think could be very compelling for um, practical usage in a lot of different types of tanks and sumps. And that's why I wanted to show them to you. Um, they say on the box that it's got 3,380 square meters of surface area. That's an awful lot, and it speaks to the porosity of the ceramic. Um, so if that's true, that means these would be very effective as a bacteria house. Uh, there's some other stuff here that also says, oh yeah, that they come in this blue mesh protector. You can keep it in this protector if you want. Um, I personally wouldn't, because I just don't really like introducing extra plastic to the tank if I don't need to, but it also protects it during shipping. Um, and yeah, so they say that the ceramic contains um, mineral elements including potassium, magnesium, iron, zinc, sodium, and calcium. All of those are good. There's no red flags in there. All of that stuff you would want to be leached into the tank provided it's done slowly. Um, or, or it wouldn't matter if it was leached into the tank because most of those things are elements that are dosed either as major elements or as trace elements. Um, they make no mention of any nasty elements like copper or aluminium, but I think Biomedia has uh, moved on from that aluminium discussion, provided you're not using old school marine pure blocks which crumble and leach aluminium. I think you're probably right these days. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot more to say. I'm going to be chucking a few of these in my tank. Uh, as you know, I do have old school marine pure cubes in my tank and my last few ICP tests are showing elevated aluminium. So I need to, you know, stick my finger out and get, get around to finally removing those crumbling marine pure blocks from my sump and I will be replacing them with these. I also have Mantis bio blocks. They're the rectangular cubes in an acrylic holder in my sump. I'll be leaving those in there because I'm really happy with them. They're doing really well. They're not crumbling. They're very easy to clean when they do build up that biofilm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna supplement them with these, which I think are more versatile with regard to where I can place them because they're not gonna block water flow. And uh, you know, it, I probably won't do a follow-up video, but um, because I, I don't think it's it's the, ca the, the causality of adding these to an effect in the tank will be dubious at best unless there is something major like you know my nitrates bottom out within a week or they triple triple in a month and nothing else has changed but i, I can't see that happening um you know the effects of these kind of things are much more subtle and long term um but yeah you can't buy these uh, to my knowledge in australia or america uh i don't believe they have any distributors yet but they are looking for distributors so, you know, if this makes you excited and you want to buy something like this or those other products that I just very briefly held in front of the camera before um, that they sell, but I think this is a really interesting one, um, go check out their website, go to your local fish store, tell them about it, tell them to watch this video. And, uh, you know, if, if the local fish store or you're a distributor for um, marine products, if you're really interested in these, yeah, reach out to Mountain Tree and um, you know, make it happen. Bring them into a country and have another product that is quite unique and innovative, um, potentially competing in the market. So that's all for now. Uh, I know this video probably wasn't super educational, but I hope it was at least interesting because I've ideally I've shown you something you haven't seen before. Um, as I said, I don't spruik products. I wasn't paid to do this. They did send it to me for free. I've got a whole box of this stuff now, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with. So, you know, if you're in Melbourne or you know me personally, hit me up, I'll just give you a few of these. Um, I'm not interested in being influenced by free product. You should know that by now. It's not how I run this channel. I always try to be educational or at the least interesting. And I think hopefully I've ticked one of those boxes at least today. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's all for today. My name is Marcus, and you've been watching the ReefNode YouTube channel. Bye for now.
Okay, they did send me one other thing that I'm gonna put in the video. A bamboo towel. Your towel. My wife will be most happy about this because this is, you know, one less excuse for me to be using tea towels around the tank for drying up water and spills and things. Instead, now I can have a dedicated towel for my reef tank. 